All right, working on the old Ford again today. A little brisk out, but it uh, feels good. Let me get the door for you here. Let me show you what we're going to do. All right, we're going to put the floor pan in, but uh, before we do that, I'm going to have to uh, put one of these uh, nut plates I made. I'm going to put it in here. Got to weld that in. Then I'm, uh, I'm going to grind the edge here. And grind all this clean. And uh, this here, these are all clean so we can uh, weld to that. But got to clean this edge up here and grind all this and clean this. And then uh, we're ready to put the, the floor pan in. I got I got the, the bottom of the, the floor pan already painted inside so uh, I don't have to crawl on my back there and paint it when it's done. So, all right, we'll show you that and then we'll come out here and start grinding this up. All right, here's the floor pan. It's all, uh, already prepared to go in there. Drilled all my holes for the to weld the spots into the spot welds and the plug welds, whatever you want to call them. And I painted up the bottom so I don't have to paint that while it's uh, on a truck. And then uh, just taped out all these little spots where it's uh, we're going to need clean paint to weld. So uh, clean steel to weld. All right, I'm going to go out there and start grinding, and uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, here we got the the pan in place here. I got the the cab uh, bolt down here holding it tight and these two this is uh, the tunnel the tunnel bolts and they, they got it real pulled real tight too so uh, these plug welds are all flush they're all ready to go but these here gotta get clamped down a little bit or screwed down and uh, the floor over here I got a clamp in the corner here and that's flush that one's flush that one's flush and that one's flush and I'd say that one's flush but uh, this one's got to get pulled down with a screw these four have to get pulled down with a screw and then over here, you gotta, gotta, there's no, there's really nowhere to clamp it, so I, uh, I'm gonna have to put some screws in there. That looks flush. That one's flush, but over here it's up about a quarter inch, so uh, we'll see what happens. I think I'll, I'll pull this side down first and uh, let that one, because that may pull, pull away from there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll throw you up on a tripod and. Uh, We'll show you. These here we're going to have to get with the, the right angle drill because I got the, the heater box in the way. But the rest of these I should be able to get with a screw gun. Alright, I'll see what we can do. I'm going to pull it down with these uh, self tappers that look like about an inch. Yeah, the tip of these is uh, shaped like a drill. So it actually drills the hole and then, then taps itself in there. So that's how that works. Alright, I don't know how far you guys can see. I'm over here at the wall. So let's. Uh, See how this works. Alright. That worked good. I was going to do that one. We're going to do this one. Well, maybe I will do that. The hell's one more hole, right? Alright. Yeah, it pulled it down nice. Yeah, it don't matter how many holes you put in this thing because I'm going to fill them up anyway. See now I almost pulled this other one down, but it did. So I'm gonna give that one a screw too. Alright. Let me get the magic hammer here. Alright, so that one, that one's good. A little bit of dent in the floor, but big deal, right? It's pulling it down nice. All right, you were happy with that. Try one more and I'll shut you down and I'll do, I'll do some more myself. Hmm. I don't know what happened.
happened there. For some reason we hit something hard. I know what it is. That's uh, that's where we cut out for this this thing here, I think. And I had to move the hole all the way over to the edge. That's probably what that is. So let's see if we can put one here. Okay, that one. That screw isn't even going through the sheet metal. These are problems you run into. Alright. See that? Just work around it. Alright, yeah, this, this whole row here is all pulled down where, where it should be. Let me finish these up and then we'll, uh, we'll put the other drill on. Alright, we hooked up the, in the Makita here, the right hand drill. And we'll try that. I don't have as much control over this one, you know, sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it goes slow. So, uh, let's we'll see what happens. Let's we'll see what happens here. It ain't gonna work because it's in reverse. Let's try this. Alright. I pulled it down. Like I say, see how fast that was? It is, it is variable control, but when you're leaning over like this, it's... It's tough to control. Believe me. Believe me, I'm in an awkward position here. Alright. Move over. Move over. Give me a little room here. Let's do it right hand. Let's try this. Give me trouble here. Give me trouble. aren't always that easy sometimes. Just something as simple as putting a screw in. Look, some bitch wanted to stand up. That's flush. All right, let me uh, let me get these these last two before I uh, say something I don't want to say. All right, let me show you where we're at here. We got all these uh, plug welds all down flush, all screwed down, all ready to get welded. You know, and the wall here is nice too. But what happened here is on the edge. I was going to put a weld on the edge, and then. Then plug weld here, you know, give it that much more support. But uh, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but you're gonna see it upside down. But I got about three quarters, no, not three quarters, <laughs> road king, about three sixteenths of an inch gap here, and it's like a little, a little swale. So this is where the cross member was, and by looking at the the dents here, I probably should have, and I meant to, uh, grind down. The weld but but it really wasn't sticking up that bad just them two little bumps but uh, we got a pucker in the metal here so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to cut a relief right about here and then I'll bring that side down bring that side down and we'll weld them together 
And then we bring it out here where the floor is. It's uh, touching here, but then we got a almost a quarter inch here, you know. And I think we can we can fix that because back here is where it's butt it's uh, butted up, and it was going to get butt welded. But I think if I trim this, it uh, it'll bring that down. Let's see if I can pop that up. No, maybe not. I thought that, I thought it was jamming itself up, but it's not. So. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some screws in here because I can't get a clamp on it and pull it down. See if that works. See these things when they come out of the stamp, you know they're all distorted and stuff. So uh, you just have to do it. You have to to make it fit, and that's what we're gonna do. If I have to, I'll put a relief cut here and get that down, and then maybe another relief cut here, and we'll and we'll get it down like that. But I think we should be able to pull it down with some screws. We'll see. Alright, it rushes over here, give you a little better angle, see what we're doing. See, here's that, that quarter inch space. You gotta try and close up a little bit, so put your hair in protection on. And what we're gonna do, we could, first of all, I'm gonna put a screwdriver back here to make sure that it doesn't bind up. Because if you're banging on it, trying to straighten it, and it's binding up, you're, you're just fighting, you, you know, you're fighting against yourself. So, let me stick a screwdriver in here. So we know it ain't gonna bind up. Put your headphones on, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit this hard edge here where they stamped it out and try and bring that down. Instead of just beating it with a hammer and denting everything up, I'm gonna use a block of wood and see if that works. So got you get your hair protection on? Alright, let's try it. Uh, it's closing up good. The screwdriver came out. Alright, see that? It's good. It's up a little right here. Alright, that's much better. See now that, that that'll screw in place. And then we can uh, back here closed up completely. All right, yeah, we'll screw that in place and uh, should be fine. All right, yeah, I found some smaller uh, self tappers or a half inch, so maybe it won't won't wrestle me as much. I'll try and stay out of your way again. Yeah, much better, much better. Nice if I get a clamp on this, but I can't. I'm gonna put one here. All right, see that? That way I don't have to put one here. What the? The whole thing brought the whole thing down. Now I just have to put one right, right about here. Hmm. Yeah, it worked out well. I'm liking it. Alright, that's all ready to weld. Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Road King. Almost fell. Alright, I'm going to cut a, a relief in that, that other side and clamp it in place. And then uh, we'll get to do some welding. Alright, alright. Let me put a relief cut here. And, uh, oops, sorry about that. Put a relief cut there and uh, it brought everything else down there. So, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna plug weld everything we have all ready here. And then, uh, maybe even here. And then we'll work on uh, cutting that and butt welding that. Same with the back here. And I'll set you guys over there, up over there, out of the way. All right, see you over there.
Alright, you have them busy. I, uh, I plug welded all them onto the bracket and uh, welded up along the side here and welded all this up here and welded uh, across the back here but welded that and then welded along the edge here oh, let me sit down welded all up here the only thing I have left is uh, across here so I just clamp that in place and beat the floor down to where I need it and uh, I'm going to take a couple tacks put a couple tacks here and get my saw and uh, get the air saw and, and just cut along the whole thing there some guys do that differently you know some guys uh, you know they'll, they'll tack it in a few places and then cut up to it and then you know cut that tack and then cut more and to me it's just as easy to cut the whole thing once it's in place you know so I'm gonna tack I'm gonna tack this I'm gonna put maybe, maybe four or five tacks in there and then and cut it that'll that'll make it stable enough and then uh, that'll uh, that'll give me a perfect butt, butt joint there so all right let me set you up here in, inside the cab and uh, we'll get to it Oh, it's all, like I said, let's get a, a jigsaw across there. All right, I'll be right back. All right, a little change of plan here. Uh, I got a little breeze blowing, and, and it actually hardened the the things that broke my blade so I'm just gonna throw over the grinder so put your earplugs on grinder and you grind on an angle like that I was I wasn't grinding straight I was grinding on 45 only because of the floor here but uh, that, that gives you actually gives you a closer uh, gap so uh, what I can do now is I can put a screwdriver in here and uh, make it flush where I want it and pack it in place Okay. 
have to take my screwdriver in place here. I gotta trim this right here. I gotta make that a little, uh, little thinner. And since everything is so t stable now, I'll give that a little. Okay. Since that's all stable and everything, I could, I could use the jigsaw on that. All right, I'll go away. All right, I got a new blade. Yeah, the reason that other blade broke so easy because it was. It was fatigued, you know, because it was it kept bending and I kept straightening and kept bending, you know, when I when I finally took the floor out. So we got a new blade here. Let's see how it does. Just what we want. Alright, let me get my torch. Not my torch. My welding gun. My pistol. up where we want. Alright, I'm going to weld that all the way across there. I'll show you when we get done. Alright, here we got that all welded up. We're happy with that. And now I just have to fix this little patch. And uh, the floors are all front floors are done. We still have to uh, fix this little little spot here which is no problem and then this part here that holds the the seat bracket. When I was putting the floor in I was looking you know if, after I had everything bolted up and everything if I had done this first I would be able to, to clamp it from the top and weld it from the top on one side but uh, I still would have had to crawl under the side so I just since I was all set up I just kept going. We'll deal with that when we get to it. Is that piece we cut off? So uh, there you go. Then we're gonna clean up for the day and uh, haul it quits for the day because uh, little dirt bike is on his way over with his dad later on for engine night. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, this video is probably getting pretty long, so. Uh, what we're gonna do here is I gotta patch this little hole here and I'm gonna patch that and then we'll uh, we'll seam seal everything here and then uh, we'll paint it up and I'll just show you that when we're done and like I say this video is getting long so uh, we'll see when we do that all right here we got that all patched up and uh, I'm just gonna seam seal all the edges and stuff and then uh, we'll paint it you guys don't have to see that 
if you want to see that you can go watch the other video but because uh, that's going to take a seam seal is going to take a couple hours matter of fact i let i let it set overnight and then i painted so so uh what do you guys say enough of this all right see you later